Hey, hey, everybody. It's Saturday, April the 25th. Glad to be hanging out with you guys again. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, the life of my grandfather and the time that he spent in World War II and uh, about the day that the, uh, the shrapnel hit the plane that he was flying in and he had to bail out. Um, as he bailed out of the plane after the tail gunner um, wouldn't jump and so he shoved the air uh, tail gunner out so that he could then dive out of the plane himself. But uh, on the way down as uh, pieces of the plane were coming down around him and that um, other pieces of shrapnel blew up around him and he's floating down in his uh, parachute and he thinks then at that very moment he just cries out, God help me. And he highlights uh, Psalm 91 in his book because after he was captured in a POW camp and he had two broken vertebrae in his neck um, from the parachute um, yanking him after he pulled the cord and uh, gets on the ground, is captured, uh, is in extremely bad health, <clears throat> cannot feel his arms, um, is in a really bad place physically <clears throat> and emotionally and even spiritually. But uh, he ends up in a room where uh, he's with the sickest of the sick and the allied troops are closing in and so they come in to move everyone and to get them out of there and to get them away from the allied troops and the german soldiers come in and say uh, get up and walk or stay here and die and so he said he began to crawl and he saw um, a little bit of light on the floor or a book open <clears throat> so he crawls over and sees it and it's a new testament and psalms and it's open to Psalm 91. And Psalm 91 in the beginning reads, and this is what he reads, laying in the floor. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. He closes that New Testament, stands up, puts it in his pocket, and continues to walk out. And it was uh, several months later before he was liberated. But as he would talk about uh, the time that he spent as a POW much later in life. Uh, the prayer um, in Psalm 91 <clears throat> um, with saying that, that the Lord will give us long life. And then in Psalm 112, he referenced that even in, the, even in the darkness, light dawns for the upright, for those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous. And these were uh, two scriptures that he always looked back upon um, after a being a POW and then coming back to the States and living his life, that uh, no matter how dark it gets or no matter how lonely we are sitting at home dealing with this COVID-19 crisis, that uh, Psalm 112 says uh, there's light in the darkness no matter what. And so my prayer is Psalm 112 verse 4, that even right now as it seems doom and gloom, um, it's been raining this week, so we can't get outside as much. And uh, you may be struggling at home um, spiritually or emotionally or physically. Just know that uh, there is light in the darkness, and that light is the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I pray that uh, Jesus lights up your day today. So happy Saturday. God bless you, and hopefully we can see you soon. Goodbye.